Hi everybody, this is Fox Nomad, and today I want to help you travel smarter by explaining what eSIMs are and how this can completely change the way you use your mobile phone when traveling. Now you're probably familiar with regular SIM cards, which are a small little chip that's embedded on a piece of plastic which you stick in your phone. It stands for Subscriber Identity Module, and essentially what a SIM card does is it has a little identifier on the SIM card that when you plug it into your phone, and when your phone connects to a network, it sends the data on that SIM card to your network. And the network then reads all that information and says, you can use my network or you can't use my network. SIM cards used to be a lot larger. They used to be embedded with this small little gold plated chip on a piece of plastic with a lot of plastic around the outline. But as phones have gotten smaller and they need more space in the phones, you've seen those SIM cards get down from regular SIM cards to micro SIM cards and now nano SIM cards, which have pretty much eliminated all the plastic that's around that little gold frame of the SIM card. So as SIM technology has improved, the next step really is eSIMs. An eSIM is an electronic SIM card, which instead of being embedded on a little chip that you plug into your phone, that chip is now embedded inside of most new phones. So if you've got an iPhone XS or newer, or if you've got a Pixel 2 and newer, and probably the new Samsung phones coming out are all gonna be eSIM enabled, and what that allows you to do when you go to a new country, instead of having to run around and try to find a SIM card that you can use locally, you can go ahead and set up that external SIM card right from an app on your phone. So with a regular SIM card, when you travel overseas, if your phone doesn't have an international plan on it, then you probably can't use your phone to make calls or get on the internet in a new country. And what that process has meant in the past is you've got to go and find a SIM card which you can use locally that means taking out the SIM card that you already have, trying not to lose your original SIM card, putting in the new SIM card, taking the time to register the phone, spending time at an airport or at a mobile phone shop when you get to your destination. And if you're traveling to a couple of countries over a short period of time, that can be a huge hassle. What an eSIM does is it allows you to buy a SIM card prior to your travels online. And all you have to do is scan a QR code on your phone. And now you've got this dual SIM embedded on your phone. There are a couple of major advantages to this. One, you don't have to take out the physical SIM card in your phone that you have already. You can set this up before you go to a new country. You don't have to do any kind of complicated registration. You don't have to physically go to a shop. You can do it all online. This video is sponsored by Aerolo, which is an eSIM company which you can use to add an eSIM to your phone if you've got one of the newer phones. The way it works is it's got a list of about 100 countries. You pick the country that you're gonna go to while you have a wireless connection, so you do need an internet connection to set this up. So using your laptop or using their mobile app, you're gonna search through the country that you want. For example, I was just in Pakistan, so I just looked up Pakistan, and you've got a couple of different plans that you can use. So you've got data plans of one gigabyte, three gigabytes, and five gigabytes. It varies based on the country you're going to and based on the options there. So you just add that to your phone, and now you've got mobile internet in the country that you're gonna to go to and all you have to do is really set that up in the settings of your phone. You don't actually have to add another SIM card to your phone. And you can even deactivate your existing SIM card. So you can just go in the settings and say, that's going to be my secondary SIM card. My primary SIM card when I'm in Pakistan is going to be the Pakistani SIM card. And then when you leave Pakistan, you go back home, you can turn off that secondary SIM card and then just add your regular SIM card back. You can even keep both SIM cards active. So if you want to keep your main SIM card so you can get calls from home, but you want to use a local SIM card to use data because data is going to be cheaper with that local SIM card, then you can do that as well. There aren't really any limits to how many eSIMs that you can load on a phone. It's fairly straightforward to set up. The most difficulty that I have is using the iPhone iOS settings. So the iOS settings aren't too intuitive. And there's a couple of things you need to know. So when you go to the Aerolo website or use their app, you're going to need to scan a QR code. So the easiest way to do it is to go directly to their website on your laptop, purchase an eSIM for the country that you're going to visit with the data plan that you want, and then scan that QR code using the Aerolo app on your phone, and then that automatically adds it to the phone. Now, you may have to go into the APN settings and make a couple of changes. So it may say SHWAP, and you might have to change that to global data. And there are all these small little specific things that you need to be aware of when you add it. So the process isn't entirely intuitive. It does take a little bit of manual tweaking. And another thing to note as well is if you delete an eSIM, you can't ever get it back. So the first time that I used an eSIM, I made that mistake. I couldn't get it quite working. So I thought maybe if I deleted the eSIM and then tried to reload it, 
it would maybe sort of reset the settings and get it working. And unfortunately, I lost my first eSIM doing that. So that's something that you need to know. You need two screens. A way around this is what I've done is I've actually just taken a picture of that QR code. So I've taken a picture of that on my phone and I used the mirror to kind of scan the QR code to add the eSIM. But really the easiest way is to just scan that QR code on your laptop from your phone and that will automatically add the eSIM. If your data is not working, you just need to probably go into the settings and Aerolo is really good about giving you specific instructions for each type of eSIM in every country. Now, speaking of countries, there are a couple of drawbacks to using an eSIM. One is it's not available in all the countries in the world. So when I was recently in Nepal, there are no providers there that are allowing eSIMs on their network just yet. So I couldn't use an eSIM in Nepal, so I couldn't set that up. But then when I flew to India from Nepal, I set up an eSIM there and I was able to get data on my phone, no problem. Most carriers right now are not giving you phone connections as well. So that's something to note too can really only get data on your phone using these eSIMs for now. And the prices are a little bit expensive. So for about a gigabyte of data, you're going to pay close to $10, which is a lot more than if you were to buy a local SIM card. But the convenience of getting that SIM card before you even arrive at the airport is a huge plus. And you don't have to fiddle around with physical cards and potentially lose your main SIM card. And another thing that I found a little bit inconvenient is you can't get too much data either. You only got really one, three, and five gigabyte options at most. And that's really probably due to what the networks restrict on eSIMs, but it would be nice to be able to get a 10 gigabyte card to be able to use for heavy users like myself. So to be able to get all that data at once without having to top off as I go along and have to worry when I'm down to 100 megabytes or whatever. So those are some of the couple of disadvantages so far that I have found using these eSIM cards. But all that said, eSIMs are still really new. Only the latest phones have eSIMs, but as network carriers catch up and as mobile operating systems get better and more intuitive interfaces to add eSIMs, it's only going to get more convenient in the future and I'm going to guess less expensive as well. It's going to make things a lot easier for when you're traveling, but if you have one of these phones, so if you've got an iPhone 11 Pro or one of the latest iPads or Pixel 4, you can use eSIMs now. So instead of having to go the airport to get a new sim card you can just download an app like Aerolo and add all the sim cards manage the sim cards you want there you can even see how much data you've got left and you can top that off so you've got a lot of different options if you've got one of those newer phones but if you don't just keep in mind that maybe when you get your next phone you might want to get one or you're probably going to get one that has eSIM technology in it it's going to make traveling for you a lot easier and it's going to make it a lot easier to get mobile data on your phone as you travel around the world Thanks very much for watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions about eSIMs or Aerolo down in the comments below. And while you're down there, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.